16.6a, Rational Equations, Clear the Denominator. We clear fractions by multiplying each term by the LCD. In this case here, that means we'd be multiplying by 12. So we would be taking 12 divided by 4 times 3, which would give us 9x. 12 divided by 2 would be 6, and 1 times 6 is 6. And then we have 12 divided by 6 would be 2, and 2 times 5 is 10. So we have cleared the fractions to make it easier to solve. Let's look at our examples. In example 1, our LCD is going to be 7x. So that means that we're multiplying each term by 7x. I'm going to perform a little bit of magic here. So I've shown you that we are multiplying each term by our LCD. Inside in the red is each term that we had started with. So we're going to get a 35 equal to 3 minus twenty eight x. We'll subtract three from both sides and we'll get thirty two equal to a negative twenty eight x. Divide by negative twenty eight and we're going to get this as a negative eight sevenths equal to x. One of the things we always want to double check is to make sure that our answer will not cause us to have zero in the denominator. So in example two, our LCD is x plus five. I am not going to write this one out like I did the other one. We're going to get four plus x times x plus five equal to negative two. So then we have 4 plus x squared plus 5x equal to negative 2. Let's get everything on one side. So we'll add 2 to both sides. And we get x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. This easily factors to x plus 3 and x plus 2, so that means x will equal a negative 3, negative 2. I check to make sure that those will not cause my denominator to be 0. They won't, so I'm done.